At first glance, this Cadillac SUV looks like any other car on the road. But unlike other cars, this one drives itself. According to Professor Raj, Raj Kumar and his team at Carnegie Mellon University, this Cadillac prototype is the most advanced example of driverless car technology yet produced. Raj Kumar says driverless cars will one day be the norm, replacing the single biggest cause of traffic accidents on the road. Human drivers. Humans get distracted. About 93% of accidents in cars happen due to human error. Right? People are distracted. They are uh, maybe sleepy, angry, uh, looking at something else, or even they may be, even be drunk. Right? If you can basically take the human out of that equation, out of the driving equation, distractions will go away, and computers will not get distracted. They're not human. So therefore, we can actually minimize those accidents, take those accidents slowly, towards zero. The prototype is equipped with a host of sensory technologies including lasers, cameras and radar, all of which feed their data into four onboard computers, giving the vehicle a picture of its surroundings and possible dangers in real time. It also uses GPS and wireless technology to give its autonomous navigation control a sense of direction. It talks to the traffic lights, actually you see the status of the traffic lights as you go by. It's actually talking to them wirelessly. Raj Kumar says the car's sense of awareness is far superior to a human driver's, especially in dangerous conditions. Suppose you are driving at night, the street lights are off, and your uh, headlights start blinking and they die for, well, just to take an extreme example. We as humans cannot perceive anymore, but if the car is outfitted with a thermal imaging camera, a heat sensing device, it can actually see that there is a human or an animal in front of the car, the computer can actually detect that and stop the car. We humans have not perceived the obstacle, but the computer has. But Raj Kumar says his team is still working on proving that their driverless car technology can reliably handle all the variables and complexities involved in what seems like an ordinary drive down the road. He is confident that by the year 2020, his autonomous car will be ready. But, he says, getting people comfortable with the idea of letting their cars drive them around may take a little longer.